Well, it's been a really interesting earnings season for big tech, Mandy, because I think it's been characterized by low expectation and some bearishness towards some of these names going in uh, to the numbers. And what we have seen is that the results have just been good enough. And that's fine for the market. And you saw that with the likes of Microsoft and Alphabet. And you're now seeing that with Al Apple. It's a bit better for Apple, but it was certainly a mixed bag as well. Now, top and bottom line was a beat. Uh, but revenue did decelerate uh, significantly. And the market was okay with that. So let's just dig in a bit more. And I want to start off with iPhone, of course, the crown jewel always of Apple earnings as well. Well, $40.67 billion in revenue. It beat expectation. And that's because iPhone 13, the flagship product, continues to remain strong there continues to be strong demand for their smartphone and it really is the Trojan horse for Apple into the lives of consumers to upsell them their services and we'll get on uh, to that in a moment but it happened despite a tough smartphone market as well but the premium segment of the market where Apple per plays continues to hold up well however some of the other products did struggle iPads Mac as well Apple blaming that on some of the supply constraints as well as a stronger dollar. Now, CEO Tim Cook addressed some of these concerns. Let's just listen in to what he had to say. If you look at the June quarter, we do believe uh, that we saw macroeconomic headwinds that impacted our business and our results. And so what, one of those is clearly the FX, which uh, Lucas mentioned, that was over 300 base, basis points on year-over-year -year growth rates. When you look at the product categories um, on iPhone, there was no obvious evidence of macroeconomic impact during the June quarter, uh, besides FX, obviously. Uh, Mac and iPad were so gated by supply that we didn't have enough product to test the Now demand. let me move on to, to services here because this is key. $19.6 billion in revenue but a miss. Uh, it was a 12% rise but slightly slower than what we've seen in previous quarters. And now I think that is a concern because this is an extremely high margin business uh, for Apple. It's key to the profitability but it is also key to the story around Apple's future as well as any re-rating of the stock. And I think uh, this slowdown we've seen in the growth for services will certainly be a concern to some investors as well and be closely watched if it lasts for a long time this will be an even bigger concern and just finally here on China a huge market for the company it was down 1% but certainly that was way better than the market had expected given what we've seen there the COVID resurgence the lockdowns as well and the fact that demand has been uh, badly hit in China Apple did continue to hold up well so clearly a mixed bad iPhone strong China good but services a bit of a concern Steve